The other day, I was speaking with a female friend. She was discussing her business idea with me. She had great plans on how she was going to get started. I listened to her talk and I knew like many other people that the dream of starting a business will die in her head without ever materializing. She will have every good reason in the world to give as to why it cannot be achieved. Those reasons may sound like they are genuine, but they are just like every reason she had given for not starting the other businesses she had discussed with me before. I knew she would never start that business because they were excuses she had believed they were holding her back. Listen to this. I'll tell you the simple way you can start a business right here and now. Find the problem, find the right solution, deliver the solution, and that's simple. No Britannica about it. No point arguing about my Nietzsche. Get on with it and get your business started. I can end this video and you can move on. But you see, I can bet you that like thousands of young people who will watch this video, you will not start. No, you won't. You see, it's not the first time you've read this simple, straightforward business tip. So obviously, you know this business truth. You know precisely what you need to get started with your first business. But you aren't starting your business. Why aren't you starting? The reason is simple. You are making excuses. Mostly, outdated excuses. If you have always dreamed of starting a business, I can bet you that one or all of the excuses below are the reasons you give for not starting your own business. Excuse number one. I don't have money, so I can't start a business. How many times have you said this to yourself? Is this even true? I'll not be deceitful here, but there are two ways to kill this excuse. First, if you don't have money, get a job. No big deal. It doesn't make you any less an entrepreneur. It doesn't make you less competent, low thinking or a failure. you only be earning to start a side business. Second is burn your bridges and destroy your alternatives. It's common advice but if you have the guts to stomach a week long of hunger, shame and disgrace for not having money in your pocket while you are building your business, get started with what you have where you are. Your first capital could come from selling sachet water or from working as an office assistant. No matter if starting a business which eventually gives you freedom and flexibility truly matters to you, you can start with what you have right where you are. Excuse number two. Small businesses don't succeed in my country. This is not true. Small businesses do succeed in your country. Small-minded business owners are the ones who don't succeed. Most new entrepreneurs are so naive about businesses that they spend every income that comes into their business. I made this mistake too when I started a business. In the year 2016, I started a business where I made tons of money in very short months. Thinking things would continue to be this way, I didn't save or invest a thing. I was dead broke less than a few months later. That's just one of the mistakes most failed entrepreneurs in my country make. There are many others. If your habits are good, your business will thrive. If your habits are bad, your business will go to the gutters. Small-minded entrepreneurs expect quick success. They wait for success without working hard for success. They work short hours but take very long breaks. They make little money and spend on expensive things. They never invest back in their business. Excuse number three. I don't know enough to sell to anybody. A young man in my country, Bamidele Onibalusi, who is barely 16 years old, used common knowledge of freelance writing to support himself after secondary school. He grew that small business into what sustained him and his family and at a very young age now is one of the most successful people online in the world of freelance writing. When I started writing for pay, I was a fiction writer who turned to content creation because I was dead broke. Yet with a quack writing skill, I began to make money soon enough. When I started, it was tough, but I kept practicing daily and kept becoming good at what I do. Whatever you know doesn't matter how seemingly unimportant. There are people who don't know that and will gladly pay for it. You don't need to be the world's best, you just need to be better than some other people who need your help. 
Excuse number four. I don't have help. In my country, this excuse is very common. It basically centers on the religious belief that my helper will come. Well, I do not go against religious beliefs. But I do know this is so absolutely erroneous. It should not be allowed to live another minute in our society. Waiting on God to show some help while you are doing nothing is as good as standing in the rain with no buckets but expecting to gather rain. I am not saying God doesn't help people. Of course he does. But only if you play your part by working hard and giving your best. Helpers aren't going to come your way because you asked for it. They will come because you deserve it or have earned it. And if you're truly religious, you know you'll only earn it through obedience. Which of course puts the responsibility of diligence on you. Excuse number five. What if I fail? If you are in business not expecting to fail, then you are best off being an employee because you will undoubtedly fail in business. If business was that simple, the statement business is a risk will be irrelevant. Business is not that simple. You won't always succeed. You won't always break through. Things won't always go your way. But you won't always fail either. Don't scare yourself to death about it. There will be the days of glory and there will be the days of pain. The question is when you fail, what will you do about it? Envisaging failure doesn't make you a failure. It shows you from the start that you should prepare for failure, which is sadly what most naive entrepreneurs don't ever do. Prepare to fail. Then create ways you'll leverage your inability to succeed. You don't have to own the world to start a business. In fact, most successful businesses started small. What matters in starting a business isn't that you have it all together. Instead, what matters most is your attitude. With the right attitude, you can create a business that succeeds. Even when you go through hard times, which are inevitable in business, there may not be all the outdated excuses holding you back from starting a business. But know that there will always be an excuse for not doing what you are supposed to do. So, the best thing is to get on to do what you have to do anyway and damn all excuses. If this video inspired you, share this video. We love you.